What's your name, sir? My name is Luke. And what's your role today? What brought you out? Uh, I was a wounded speak, but uh, I was a to how I What would you have told us today?
speaking as a concerned Ghanaian non partisan, this is not political. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's from the consensus in Ghana. We don't have electricity in so many years. We've had a lot of promises made from various governments. So this is not political. We want to understand why we don't have electricity. It's a basic amenity. People are suffering, people are dying, people are losing their jobs. There's no job anywhere. Everything is at a standstill. We want to understand what's going on. Well, what's the message? Uh, safety is obviously your, your biggest priority today. Yes, really. I think everything was secure because uh, we were able to mobilize a lot of men, policemen that we put at all strategic points. We were able to take them through all the routes. Uh, the only problem we had was traffic problem. And then we were able to close uh, uh, the crowd through some lanes and then we were able to provide things for. You know, the demonstrators and then the, the vehicle movement. And, uh, eventually, we move up this coast. And by a matter of one hour journey, we move from there slowly to the ground. And then I think uh, everything has ended successfully. Right. Yes, yes. We've, we've seen so many. This year, uh, yes. this year oh, sorry. We've seen so many protests in the past. Now, this fight you make because it's happening in the night. Um, how difficult was it? And is it something that when others want to embark on? Yes, uh, the Canadians, they told us they will start by 4 p.m. and then they uh, started by 6 p.m. and come to a close. Unfortunately for them, at least the movement was very slow. But you know, for us, it is our duty to make sure that we start and we end successfully. And uh, we have been able to shepherd them to the end. Uh, but uh, we have also put pressure on them that normally we don't do uh, public events run into the night because of these attended consequences. So we put pressure on them and eventually they managed to agree with us and uh, we have come to a conclusive end. We have to make sure that people have to move from here to their village destination safely. So we are making way we have our men at all places to move traffic and everything and also to provide security at least so that anybody that is going back will not have any uh, internal incidents on the way. We came to look at the venue, you know, where they will start the demonstration and then where we'll end. They informed us that they would like to use the pavement. They said that they will use a single fire road, and that, that they will be in the single fire to use the pavement instead of using the, the road. So we didn't factor anything because that is exactly what the demonstrators told us. And it was even put on paper. They've written to us that they were not going to interfere with traffic. But unfortunately, you know, that was not what, but we made provision for that. We know that normally there are some uh, similarities in the course of this type of process. And then we were able to help them to Well, you're well, going to a fever pitch now. Do you expect this group to disperse? No, we are not disappointed. And then I think uh, it is a normal thing we have been doing. And then we feel that uh, we have done our best to make sure that we, bring, we were able to bring everybody here. Do you think this is a vigil as they have to um, the police? A vigil? No, they, it, it was a demonstration. And then a demonstration, you know, the vigil, vigil as they, they mentioned it, but we look at it to be a demonstration. And all the signs show that it was just a demonstration that they were part of. So is there anything that is going to happen? Is the police going to take any action or any step? Uh, no, 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 no. I prefer that uh, we are There were one or two incidents, and the police clearly demonstrated they are on top of the game. Uh, like the one with uh, Alaji Alidu, the one who came and uh, was attacked. Also, some people uh, perceived to uh, come from the other party or the ruling uh, party with some shared tax on it. So, uh, can you elaborate more on how you managed to? call such incidents that really, took I didn't see uh, because I was leading and so I'm here to get assessment from my officers who were behind and so I will later on tell you exactly who and who was there but I think the demonstration, uh, demonstration the duty that they call it it was for all to attend there was no discrimination like uh, somebody from party A or party B to attend and so I feel, I feel that you know, it is something that all should understand to do it and it is all for a common purpose so there shouldn't be any problem about that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.